Hey everybody, it's me and a sky pie. I know the camera isn't the way it normally is. Oh, that's mainly because of one thing. Look, a bag of chips. No, it's not because of the bag of chips. Those are good though. Um, this review is kind of going to be a little different. Um, we are actually going to be reviewing a Equestria Girl toy. I know. Um, usually we never touch that within a nine foot pole on this channel, but I want to make some changes. Um, I want to start doing some reviews on the Equestria Girl Mini Collection. So, um, I got my very first piece today. Um, check it out. That, this thing is a iPad cover. It was on sale for $20. Sweet. But, um, yeah, chips. <laughs> but, yeah, um, my fiance and I, we were really, really eager to see what the heck this thing looked like. So we did take it out before the video, before this video was recorded. So I'm going to put up some pictures of what the box looked like before we opened it and everything. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so that's what it looked like. And it com it's compiled of multiple different pieces. Um, we have here our Pinkie Pie. She is completely articulatable. She's got like joints in her upper arms. There's joints in her uh, elbows. The only thing that doesn't have joints is her wrist. There's a normal ball, ball joints here on her hips. So it can be open and closed, which that's can be taken in a dirty way. Um, <laughs> she's got joints in her knees here. She's just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And she's like about the size of your hand. So she's a good chunk of plastic. Her head is completely 380 degrees uh, capability, which is awesome. I think it's 300. Yeah, if it wasn't for, um, like if you keep her in certain styles, like certain positions, her head can be turned all the way around. So that's really cool. You could almost use her for stop motion animation almost because the head and all the joints are so like, they're so tight that you could almost put her like in any position, like what you wanted and she'd stay in there. That's really cool. Nobody gave any dirty thoughts from that. <laughs> But yeah, besides her, you also we also get um, well her chair, which let's face it, we haven't seen one of these before. So it's really cool to see that Hasbro's making some different pieces here. It's just it's a really cute little chair that she can just sit on. That is adorable. Look at her. Oh, these are cool. Oh yes, you heard me right. You know, Skypie said this is cool. All right, <laughs> now we have a little desk here. It's got some little cubbies, which is really cute. It's got a little area for a chair. Maybe we're gonna have a chair soon, that'd be cool. And we have some little photos here. Uh, Pinky blowing her bubble with some, wait, no, no. It has Pinky Pie blowing up a balloon, derp. <laughs> got some cupcakes, it got a little bear. Got a picture of her and her friends, the main six. Basically, oh, she got drunk and fell over. <laughs> no, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's that's adorable. It's even got like the fake wood grain in here. That's like really bloody detail. I love it. And to go on the little tape, little desk, we have a really cute little um, gumball machine. With some little little circle things in there. They're not edible, so don't try breaking it open. <laughs> that just sits there. We have here a little laptop with, um, well, what's obviously the the ending of the first Equestria Girl movie. It's got little ears at the top. I think that's how Sidewise one was too. Um, what I was wondering is, can this thing be closed? Oh, we can. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. Even on the front, it's got like a, it's got her cutie mark on it. It's got a balloon. That's
that's cool. Gosh, they really thought they really thought everything out in this thing. Uh, there's a little uh, boneless chicken here. Boneless. <laughs> Cute. And a little board game. Because this is the uh, slumber party set. Um, can this thing spin around if I... Okay. Let's see. That's kind of... Oh, uh, it's probably because of... Kind of. It get, and it gets stuck in certain areas. But let's face it, that's Candyland simplified. Which, ironically, I'm pretty sure is a Hasbro game. Candyland, I'm pretty sure. Um, she also comes with uh, these little... Um, they're supposed to be little tiny decorative lamps that hang off her bed. There's blue and then there's a yellow one here. The yellow one has some circles and some cylinder ones, which is really cute. They're reminiscent of Japanese um, ones. So we got those. And then we have, last but not least, her bed. Her bed's got some awesome, awesome shit on it. It's got this gorgeous canopy, which, let's face it, you can just, like, take that and put it in there. But I'll be doing that in a minute. Um, I want to see the crap that's on this bed. That's what I want to see. So I'll be right back once I get this thing undone. Okay, so you see, uh, I actually put the lanterns up there. It's really cute. Don't mind the thing in the background. That's actually just my Minecraft minifigure uh, kit that actually holds my minifigures. But this is the bed without the stuff on top of it. So, okay. Uh, it's really cute. It's got little hearts on it. It's kind of blase. It would have been nicer, though, if they had added, like, a little pillow. But they did give us a really beautiful bedspread for Pinky. It's got little balloons on it. Or cutie mark. Um, so that's really nice. I guess if you really wanted to and you really wanted there to be pillows, you could probably sew some yourself. Um, that's what I'm possibly going to do. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. They come with these little things. These must be the pillows. Yeah. Yeah, those are pillows. I just remembered that from the Equestria Girl, from the when the mini. Uh... No, 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 no. They're the pillows from the um the part where, oh duh, sl the sleepover. Okay, I'm the queen of the derps. <laughs> but yeah, there's a there's a pink one and a white one. That's pretty cute. They could have been bigger though. That's what she said. There's a plate of nachos. Let's face it. I don't think we've ever seen a plate of nachos in MLP before. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Some detail on them. We got here... We got here gummy. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous gummy. Oh my gosh. So nice to see these finally getting figures. Like, I know you could get gummy, like, in a much bigger form with the, um, Equestria Girl uh, sleepover dolls, the big ones. But it's cool to see them, like, in a normal size. Like, these could go along with the brushables, I think. Okay, yeah, let's take a look-see. Here's Nurse Red Heart, our basic everyday brushable. Oh, flying gummy. <laughs> yes, look at that! It's, the, it's officially the right size! That's awesome! That is so cool! All right! Um, she's got herself a little... What the hell is going on here? She, obviously, she's calling herself, or she's watching a video of herself. And she's got a little cell phone charm hanging down with the Equestria Girls horseshoe symbol. And it's got little pony ears at the top. That's cute. Anything on the back? Nope, there's nothing on the back. So, she's got herself a little cell phone. That's cute. And I guess it's Taco Tuesday, because we've got ourselves a taco... Let's face it, I don't think we've ever seen a taco in the My Little Pony toys up till now. Um, I'm pretty dang sure. That's some detail on that taco. Oh my gosh. People, are you seeing this? Like, look, it's even got indentations in it, like a real taco. That is some <laughs> Oh my gosh. I have to give this, the set, like, okay, I have to give it a major 10 out of 10. The set is gorgeous. I gotta admit, when they first came out, I was kind of skeptical because, well, I thought, well, like, what the heck's gonna happen here? Like, how are they gonna do this? Because I thought, like, I thought, if you guys remember back, like, years ago, they had come out with the Sailor Moon minis. They were, like, this big. I thought it was gonna be like that. 
So I thought, oh no, what the heck are they trying to rip, uh, they're trying to steal from a uh, freaking Sailor Moon. But no, it's neat to see that they've actually went their own direction with this. That's really cool. You know, not, not much ever happens when chips come along. Don't ask. <laughs> Oopsie. Look what the potato chips did. Shame on you. <laughs> but I have to agree. These are really cool. So, oh my gosh. So you guys get ready to see more reviews on these like as, as often as I can get these. I did put an order in with Toys R Us to get the Rarity and the Applejack sets. Uh, Twilight's one hasn't shown up yet. Um, but rest assured, I will be doing reviews on them. And I do have more of the uh, Diorama Rama. Um, I'm pretty sure this might actually go into a Diorama Rama, um, its own Diorama Rama version. Um, so, yeah, let's just call this episode a Diorama Rama episode. Um, but, yeah, I highly recommend these. These are gorgeous. The detail in her alone is just beautiful. She's even got her cutie mark on her cheek, which is just like... I know the dolls used to have that. Well, they still do, but it's so nice to see that they've decided to go a different direction with this. So, yeah, um, if you guys see these sets, this is the um, Pinkie Pie's Slumber Party Bedroom set. If you guys see them, I highly recommend it. It was about 25 bucks to get the set, but it's gorgeous. Trust me, it's worth every penny, especially that taco. Oh my God, that taco. Gummy, what are you doing? <laughs> See you guys next time.